Hi, welcome to the New Wave Cooking Club. I'm Jennifer, the executive chef for New Wave Oven. Today we're going to reach out to all you vegetarians and do a tofu stuffed pepper with brown rice, a little mozzarella, a little marinara sauce. Um, we're going to start out with 12 ounces of tofu. It comes like this. Obviously, you vegetarians will know this, but anyone who wants to try this dish. This is soybean, and what happens is anything you cook it with, it, be, it takes on that flavor. So we're going to saute it with some olive oil and some garlic and a little marinara sauce in the bottom liner pan of the New Wave. So let's just cut this up. You can do it any way you like. I like cubes. I actually have a family member that does not eat red meat, so we actually try and get protein in this way with the soybean. A two and a half ounce portion of tofu is seven grams of protein. Just a little, little note there. Okay, so we've got 12 ounces of tofu. Now we're going to just crack up some garlic here. Just push your knife down. A little kosher salt to make, let it adhere to the board. Just rock your knife back and forth. And then, oh, while I'm doing this, let me show you something really cool. If it calls for pasted garlic, just take the back of your knife and run it down. And look. You have paste. All right. All right, so we've got our garlic going. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of the liner pan. You can cook in the bottom. I love that feature. Little garlic. Put your tofu in there. Now we're, we're gonna give it about four minutes and let it brown a little bit. Let it take on that flavor. About a fourth of a cup of marinara sauce. Hold on, to, you'll see in the recipe that it calls for a cup and three quarters. So just take a little bit out of there. Mix it around. Make sure it's good and coated now because we don't want to have to lift up the dome to do it later. Um. All right, let's get it nice and even. Put our dome on, touch and go, it's that easy. Cook time, let's give it five minutes, five minutes start. And when we come back, I'll show you the layering process and how to properly clean a green pepper or a bell pepper. And I'll see you in a minute. All right, we're back. Our tofu's done. Oh, I can really smell the marinara. So what I'm going to do is put this off to the side, let it cool down a little bit so we can stuff it in our peppers. Move my cutting board over a little bit. There we go. Okay. Let's talk about bell peppers. I got a pack of different colors. You can do this with green peppers. You can do it with anything. You can do this recipe with zucchini, eggplant, you know, anything you want. Okay, a lot of times you see stuffed peppers like this, you know, and then you stuff them in the top. The reason I don't do that is because, number one, I don't want to lose all that pepper. That's waste to me. So I cut them down the middle. Just, let's see, remove the, take your fingers like this and just pop that out. Now, the difference in, you know, you ever go to a restaurant and something just tastes so wonderful and then you go home and you try and redo do it and it's like, oh, it's good, but it doesn't taste like the restaurant. Some of those little tricks is you always should remove the white of these peppers because it's bitter. And always get all the seeds out. Those little things are the difference between something really, really great and something just that comes out okay. Just scratch it out, okay? And sometimes they're big enough that you can just pop them out. 
These freeze wonderfully, and you can take them right out of the freezer, put them right in your new wave, and you can just add about seven minutes to it to get them hot. All right. Now, there's no rhyme or reason to this. In the recipe, it says you can layer it, which is fine, but for, and I like to do that because I just like things to look pretty. So first thing is brown rice. You can use white rice. This is a great way to use up your leftover rice. You know how many times do we all have a cup or two of leftover rice left? And you're like, what do I do with it? This is what you do with it. Stuff it. All right, so we got our rice in there. Now we're going to add some of that marinara. We go. Just soaking down in there. Let's get this one to turn over again. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our tofu. And I'm going to roughly, I want to keep it about two and a half ounces so that we're getting our seven grams of protein in. Just load it up. About three, it was about three heaping tablespoons. Now, this is really great if peppers are on sale. You know, we all know how expensive bell peppers can be. Buy them, make this, freeze them. Or if you don't want to make them, but you want to keep the, the peppers, just clean them, wash them, pat them dry, cut them, get all the seed and stems out of them, and put them in a freezer safe baggie and put them in your freezer and they will cook just beautifully. You might not have that bright brilliant, brilliant color but you'll still retain the flavor. All right, we're packed down there with tofu. Now the next thing is I'll just put a little bit of cheese Then I take a tomato, or you can take an onion or whatever you want, and just mush it down there. Get two more slices here. Try and cut everything the same so, you know, the same thickness so that everything will cook evenly. But if you don't, it's not a big deal. Then we really just top it with cheese. Any kind of cheese you like. This is mozzarella. It's what I had. All right, let's stick this guy in the middle. Ooh, that's pretty. There you go. All right, let me wipe off my hands. Clean up a little bit, garbage can. The only thing is, is you do need to clean out your liner pan, but I'm just going to stick a new one in here. Isn't that a great feature that you could actually saute in the bottom of that? Oops, rack, one inch rack down. This is the one inch, this is the four inch. One inch down, peppers in. It's going to take, because the rice was already cooked, it's going to take about 15 minutes to cook and heat it through. That's what actually what we're doing is just heating it through. Now, if you find that the cheese is getting a little brown, just take some parchment paper and we're gonna, you can tent it. So if we come back and I have parchment paper on, that's what happened. All right, dome goes on. Cook time, 15 minutes, push and go, start. And I'll see you back in 15 minutes. All right, our peppers are done. 
I did have to end up tenting them because they were getting a little too brown. Just some parchment paper. And look at those beautiful peppers. Now here's my little trick, guys. Instead of trying to get take this out, a lot of people end up getting burnt right here. I just take them off like this with my hot pads and then lift them back like this and then let it cool off a little bit before you attempt to move them. Now I would probably just go right to the table with it like this but we're going to show you what one looks like. Oh, they're perfect. The peppers have, they're done, but yet they've retained their crunchiness, so they're not, they're what I call al dente, which means firm to the bite. So there we have it. Our beautiful stuffed peppers with tofu. And for people that aren't into tofu and you want to add some meat, you can do that, chicken or sausage or whatever. So until next time, have a great day.